Hi there everyone, warm welcome to Hack Announce and guys in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to static assets in Django. So guys static asset just deals with the CSS JavaScript of your web app and it means your front end and here in this tutorial we will use a simple CSS for changing the background of our whole this div here it's a body in our div so now let's see our code. Here we are having our layer.html that we created in our previous tutorial and guys I will suggest you to please check our previous tutorial otherwise you will get confused. So now let's see here for getting a simple CSS don't going to uh, import a file CSS file we will see it later in this tutorial only. So we can use a style tag directly and here we can define for, I think here we are having this div and this div contain the whole of our body. So here we can just directly define our uh, CSS for this div like background color and here we can define like blue color and then if we refresh our page I think we should get it so it's not a big deal we can do it directly defining CSS in our HTML so now let's see how to import the files uh, so for importing the files it's a big deal in Django we need to do many things so now let's see how to do it first of all we will make these changes pardon these changes so that I can show you yeah so wait so that's working so now let's see what we need to do so guys for that first of all we need to create a directory and we can name this directory like assets you can name this directory anything but we need to change it in settings.py later so here we will see first of all what we need to be we will type uh, amkdir and sorry yeah amkdir assets and uh, after that here we type assets so it's our assets folder and in this assets folder we can directly create a new folder like css and in this css we can just define a css uh, by using our touch command layout.css so this layout.css will just i will just open the css file and uh, we will see what we can define here here we will define the div tag and uh, and the tag we can define our background color like uh, blue and uh, other things we can do is here I think we are having other tags we can see our home.html in this we are having a, this article tag in which we are having our whole description and title and, art, and our whole code so it, I think there is no need of this article tag we can define CSS for this h2 tag so for this h2 we can define our CSS sorry uh, yeah so here we can define our background color again so guys I am just doing dealing with some basic stuff so I am not going deep depth with CSS you can do it with your own I am just working with stuff. So guys now let's uh, we have defined our basic CSS file for this now here we need to configure our settings.py for working this CSS and we need to do all more more stuff we will see it later. So now we need to define our settings.py here uh, in our my site here and we need to open our settings.py here and we need to go it bottom of this settings.py so guys after getting bottom to your settings.py file here you need to define a tuple name as tatic static f i l e s files underscore d i r s so here after that defining this tuple name here you need to define for tuple we will with a bracket and after that here you need to define with yeah so here you need to define a folder name on which we will put our static files so here we are having a folder name assets so here we will type os.path.join so here we just uh, extracting the folder here and then here in the other bracket here we need to type base underscore dir and then on comma here we need to type our folder name so as I said you can type any folder name here I type assets here so I am just using now let me check whether the name is correct or not so I we will go there and a double -S -S -E -T -S. so here is a double -S -S -E -T -S. and uh, I think we need to use comma here so here we need to use comma for adding more more folders later so I think now we have uh, added our static dir in statics.py file now we need to define our layout.html in this layout.html first of all we need to import the file and for Im importing this file here we need to load our file so for loading our uh, static file here we need to type uh, load static from static file so I think now it's done and after loading this 
static from static files here we need to define our link tag that we use for defining our css so in this href we again use curly brackets as i previously said these curly brackets are used for using python in, in html so we are using this percentage sign and then we need to define our static keyword again and then here we need to use our single inverted comma and then css and there we need to type the name of the file and the name of the file in our, our assets folder is layout.css so guys here i use this css because we are having in uh, in static directory here we are having a css directory in which we are having our layout.css that's why i've used this css here and then layout so i use this here created the css folder so that we can add our javascript folder again and we can import it again we can't so if we direct, don't read a css folder then it will get mesh out all so i think now it's done and uh, yeah so i think now it's done let me check if there should not be any error in our file so here we can check our so i think there is no error now now we will check whether it's working or not bam guys we our code work in one time it's the first time my code work in one time so that's it for this tutorial and the next tutorial we will see how to use urls in django i think it will be our last tutorial for this basic series and in the url tag we will see on the on clicking on our course link we will uh, redirect to other page and that other page will give the whole description of that code like we are using a python course or django course or ruby course we will click on this and as we click on this it will redirect to our other page on which we will see its description so that's it for the tutorial and if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you have any query please don't forget to comment out i will try to resolve it as soon as possible so bye bye and have a nice day